this is the Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower. Part 2, the Cosmos 1 that I already have. So let's see what this looks like. Nice looking handle. Ah, look at these doors. Nice. Nice doors. Lamborghini doors. This is the XFS 1000 watt power supply. This is a monster, a real monster. Let's see what this baby looks like inside. Gotta make sure you have plenty of power for all the uh, things you add to your PC. And this is gonna be just the thing that I need to keep adding stuff until. Instruction book. cables all the cables you would need everything is modular on this particular power supply more cables nice look at that giant fan on that baby very nice Pull air in. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna pull air in for the power supply, but it's gonna stay in its own little compartment here. I see that the, how that happens there. Oh, yeah, I need. iCore i7 370 3770K. It's the LGA 1155 processor that's for this. Beautiful Gigabyte motherboard. Opening right here. Get this junky stuff pull out of here. And I'm not going to use. Piece of shit that is. Open up this nice, nice. Let's reveal the CPU. This is the vengeance memory I'm putting in this baby 16 gigs put two of them in there so 32 gigabytes yes baby
32 gigabytes of memory. This is the stock fan cooler. Stock fan cooler, not good enough. This is the new cooler. Much bigger, much bigger cooler. And the giant fan that goes with it. Video card, GTX 670, two gigabytes of memory. There you go. Good one for you. Let's drop this baby in there. All kind of goodies with this thing. Header cables if I need it. Don't need those. Don't need that. Let's get that bad boy out of there. Ah, look at that monster. Nice. Very nice. The bad boy is huge. All right. It's going to go right in there. Those two out of there, those two. Line that thing up just perfect. Seat it down in there. And we good to go. We good to go. Sound card. Sound blaster. Vitality. 3D card with analog and digital out. Got that both. And that's all it is. Little bitty card. Little bitty sound blaster card. There it is. Right, dual. Dual SSD drives. Dual SSD drives, okay. You got two of them. Two 256 Vertex 4 drives. Uh, just came out not too long ago. 
one of the fastest drives in the planet. Okay. You can put these drives in fairly easy. I'll show you what this looks like here. Get one of these bad boys out of here. That's all it is, a little bitty drive. They really come down in price. These used to be like 800 bucks, but now they're fairly cheap. Well, relatively speaking, but it's all it is. It's a little bitty thing. Pulls to the side so you can, you can see what I'm doing here. Besides losing my static ground. These little drive bays here are pretty cool. They held these, they, get, they accommodate two and a half or three and a half inch drives, which is perfect for the SSDs. So you can go from the bottom here. Okay, and I'll show you in a second how easily this goes in. So it's got these little bays here. It's got all these little bays in the center here. All these hard drives, six here and five here. But you can see as it, it's, on, it's on rollers. This thing's on rollers, little roller wheels. So it rolls in there and that's it. Drives in, ready to roll. And that's really all there is to it. Just like the other one. Slide it in. You ready to roll? That's it. All right. We got two Blu-ray burners here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a plexer on the top. I'm gonna put a nice Stasis drive on the bottom. Regular SATA drives, but they will burn Blu-rays. Now, according to this book, this is a toolless design. Okay. Huh, interesting. It's got an index there. That's it. Wow. Nice little 12 1 BST writer. We're going to slap in there. Interesting, it has little uh, tangs that once it hits there. It's in there. Oh, very nice. 